Adam Reuter here for Berkeley and Nitro. Now one of the fundamentals of soft bait fishing is how to rig them. Come with me now and I'm going to show you how to rig just a few of them. Now we're going to talk about weedless hooks. Now this is a weedless worm hook uh, and the idea behind this is that when it's attached to the soft bait, what you end up with is something that can't really get snagged that easily. So you can throw it into the sticks and the, and the brush and the weeds and the snags and wind it through successfully. Obviously when the fish grabs a hold of it because these are soft and squishy, this pushes out of the way and then they end up getting a mouthful of hook. But anyway, we'll get to that in a sec. Let's look at how we insert a weedless worm hook into our soft bait. So again, first things first, we'll just neaten the nose up a little bit so that it's a, a little neater for us to look at. Now again, starting off, we need to know where the hook needs to come out. So measure it up before you stick it in. That's how we want it to sit in the bait once it's done. So looking at it here, I've got a, an idea of where I need the hook to come out. Again, I'll mark it with the hook point. Just stick it in and make an incision. Only a little one, it's not gonna damage anything or hurt anything if you make that small incision with the hook point. So definitely do that, it's a great idea. Okay, now, because this again wants to run upside down, this is how we're gonna fashion it. So obviously the hook needs to go in here first. So straight, straight down the middle, right in the middle of the face, and then very quickly out under the chin, okay? So that's, that's our first maneuver to get this weedless rig set up. Then slide it all the way around to something called the Z bend, which is up near the eye. So we'll just sit that in there like that, okay? Now we've, we're starting to see it uh, come together. Now, this is the thing, a lot of people ask me, what's the slit in the belly for? Well, this is exactly what it's for. The slit in the belly is so that we can not only easily put the hook in, but it actually assists with the hookup. Now, I'll just stick this hook in there I'll make it come out where we marked, which was somewhere right about there. Okay, so now we've got that hook in that soft bait beautifully. The bait is still nice and straight. That's what you've got to get. You've got to get it straight so that it doesn't look like it's got a hook in it, but it does. Now, this slid in the belly, what is it for? Well, when the fish comes forward and grabs this soft bait, what you want is that soft bait to disappear or slide away Re revealing a lot of gape here so that you can get a good amount of hook into your fish. So it does that by having that slit there. So they take the material away from there so that the, uh, the hook shank can slide in through the middle of the bait and that gives you a, a whole heap of gape up the back here. So you could throw that into the scrub like that but you do still run the risk of this little hook point here catching a little bit of weed or catching something. So what you can do is just push it slightly forward and then just snick the point into the soft plastic there. And you can see that now that has just a millimeter or two of, of, uh, of plastic or soft bait over the hook point. And now you can run that through as much weed or grass as you like and it's gonna come through. But obviously when the fish bites on it, pop, that hook comes through, you get a good hook set and you're away. The other type of weedless hooks have a slightly different setup to the front. Now what can happen with these standard weedless hooks is uh, just through casting it and winding it back through the scrub, you can actually get this guy to slide off the Z bend and then it all bails up around the, uh, around the back of the hook and it just doesn't tow very very well at all. So uh, what the clever people uh, at, uh, at Owner and other companies have devised is a little screw connection at the front. So what we do is we just pin that through there and then simply screw that in to the front of the soft bait. It looks a little bit rude, but uh, the end result is, is something that, that doesn't slide back or fall off. Then obviously you just need to, uh, to get a measure on that. So back down towards the R of the power bait, stick the hook point in, pass it through, bring it up and there we go. And again, we've got a nice straight soft bait like it, like it looks without a hook in it, but it does have a hook in it. And then obviously we can also just snick a little bit of plastic over the hook point there. And then that is, that is truly a, a beautiful weedless way 
to fish this and, and obviously it can't be pulled off at the front. So these guys come in in a couple of different formats. This one has a little bit of belly weight and then what's that, what that's gonna do is it's help, gonna help the, uh, the soft bait to, to swim nice and flat or at least fall flat through the water column because of where the weight is situated. Beautiful hooking system.